Okay. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Somebody, I, God is really trying to nudge you forward, whoever you are. Listen, the Lord brought to my memory just now, and it's an example for you. When I played handball, I played with passion. Handball was my heart. I just loved handball before racquetball took its place. I was in love with handball. And I played with the guys because I was really, really competitive. And I mean, I was, I didn't know some people thought of me as a tomboy because it was just a sport. I just loved handball. But anyway, so I played handball very well back then. And these two guys were playing against me and another guy. And we were winning. And the two guys up front, Hit a killer. Now, I know you don't know what a killer is, but if you imagine, let me use this little plate as an example. Here's the wall. Here's the 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 the, the uh, cement. Okay, the ball hits the wall, bounces, and then comes up, and you hit it. When the ball hits the wall down really low, if you hit it low enough, it might do, 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 a little bit. That's like a killer. But a perfect killer is when you hit that ball at the right spot, it's a sweet spot, and it rolls out on the cement. You can't do anything with that. But there are higher killers that are just maybe six inches above ground, and when it hits the, the floor, it's only going to come up four or five inches. <laughs> They're almost impossible to get unless you can anticipate it and get it. Well, I was anticipating and I could tell what the guy was going to do. And I ran forward, and he hit that little six-inch kick killer where it hit the wall, came down, and was barely. But I was there. But guess how I got there? I slid on the cement on my knee. <laughs> I was so determined to get the ball. I barely felt the pain of the scrape. And it was a deep scrape. I didn't know till afterwards. But I got my hand on that ball and I hit it and hit it where nobody could get to it. But I got to it in time before it made the second bounce. Now, this is what I want to say to you. Do you know that I stood there and the guys were saying, oh, look at your leg. You're full of blood. Well, I was pumped because we had been playing hard. It was summertime and blood was flowing, right? So I looked at my, I was playing in a long skirt and I looked at it and it was just covered. It was like a blood stain, like about that big and dribbling down. And I, I said, just a minute, don't go nowhere. They said, don't you want to go home? I said, no, 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 we got to win the game. That was my attitude. We got to win the game. I ran to the bathroom, got paper towel, pressed on it, stopped it from bleeding. Came back, skirt still full of blood, but the bleeding had stopped. It was, you know, dribbling a little bit, but not a lot. And I said, come on, let's win this game. And they looked at me like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It was a good game, but I just couldn't let it go. And we won. <laughs> then I went home and took care of my knee. <laughs> now, I say that to say, there are times you have to have such a passion for what you're doing that nothing will deter you. I mean, nothing will deter you. <laughs> Ask God to give you that kind of passion. Ask God to give you the drive for the direction God is taking you to so that you do not lose your enthusiasm and end up easily swayed away, easily pulled astray, easily drifted off course. No, you don't want that. You want to keep that, that enthusiasm. I ate, drank, and slept handball. And boy, when we got a good game going, it was like, no, we can't stop. There's no stopping. Anyway, I hope you have that attitude. Ain't no stopping us now. We got the groove. Stay in it. Stay in it to win it. Please. You have no idea what God has ahead of you. What he has in store for you. Isaiah chapter 
oh, I can't think of the chapter, but Isaiah. There's a scripture in Isaiah that says, I, that's the I, has not seen, nor ear heard, nor has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those that love him. He's got something for you, baby, but you got to stay on it. Stay with it. <laughs> keep on trucking, baby. Keep on. Keep on keeping on in the name of Jesus until you win that prize. Amen.